I hope everybody had some happy holidays. We can all say bye bye. Bye bye 2020. Hi hi 2021. <clears throat> I'm sure it'll be better. It can't be worse than 2020, maybe. I don't know. Anything's possible at this point. We'll see. 2020 wasn't that bad. Okay. <laughs>what's up guys joey guyther here with jg multimedia and today we're going to be talking about face swapping in adobe photoshop now this is something i recently used for a uh, christmas present for my brother uh, and i face swapped his face onto napoleon bonaparte as a joke and it came out actually pretty well if i do say so myself but this actually has a real world use besides just gag gifts um, of fixing photos if you've taken multiple photos of uh, an individual person or a family portrait and maybe one photo has things you like while the other photo is lacking some things well you can just swap faces on one photo from another photo if that makes sense and to get the ideal photo so that's what we're gonna be talking about today so this will be quick tip Tuesday we'll just hop right into it I've already talked long enough so open up Adobe Photoshop and you're gonna have two images opened up in Adobe Photoshop. You're going to have the base layer with the body where you want the face swapped and then you're going to have the other image where you want the photo's face on the other image. If that makes sense. So the first thing you're going to want to do is duplicate the layer on the photo of the body where you want the face swapped and then you're going to head on over to the other photo where you want the face of that photo and you're just going to outline and select the main features of that photo now based on the face it's going to depend on what features you want added my brother's face has a beard so i want to incorporate that so i'm also going to select his beard and um, if you just want the eyes nose and mouth just select those so once you have those features selected you're just going to copy and paste those features into the body layer so you can control c or I think it's Alt C, Command C for Mac, I'm not sure. But you just copy and paste it, paste it on over in the other image, and then you're gonna wanna transform and resize that face over the body photo that you want to replace the face. Move it around, you can make it a little bit opaque or change the opacity down to like 50% so you can see what you're doing and align the facial features for both images over each other and get it the best you can obviously if your face is at an angle the one you're switching out then that could be more difficult than if it was just say face on so you know choose your photos wisely so once the faces are aligned best that they can be you can change the opacity of the face back to 100 so you can see what you're doing but then you're going to want to control click the face layer to select those pixels or you can right click on it and go down to select pixels and so you're going to see the dancing ants around the face. You can then go up to select, then modify, and contract. And you're going to want to contract this face selection by around 7 pixels. And those 7 pixels are going to be the 7 pixels that are auto-blended from the face to the body layer. So this is going to help blend the face to the body layer so it looks more natural and not photoshopped. So once you've contracted the face selection by seven pixels, you're gonna wanna then switch to the body layer. And then you're gonna wanna hide all the other layers. So now that selection that you contracted by seven pixels is on the body layer. Once you do that, you're gonna wanna delete the pixels within that selection. So you just click delete and your body layer should then have a hole in the face where you can see through it, perfect. So once you've deleted the area where the face should be on the body, you can unhide all the other layers and then you're going to want to select both the face layer that you copy and paste it onto the body and also the body layer where you deleted the face. So once you have both layers selected, you're going to want to go to edit then down to auto blend and select that. You're going to want to select the blend method as panorama and you can also leave the other uh, check boxes checked. and click OK and this should get your face pretty blended not perfect of course you're gonna have to mess around with it a little bit further but this should blend the face layer with the body layer and get it adjusted fairly well obviously the more features your face has and kind of the 
the bigger differences between the face and the body that you have, the harder it's going to be to blend those two things. So, you know, the angle plays a part, the features, the lighting of the face on the body, all these things contribute to how well it's going to blend together. So depending on the two pictures that you selected, it could have blended really well, or you might need to make a few more adjustments and touch-ups to get the face and body into one, I guess. So if it worked, great. You're pretty much done. Export it. But if it needs adjusted, then you can go into all the different Photoshop tools and mess around and kind of add subtract layers and stuff from each other and all that good stuff. As you can see, mine needed quite a bit of touching up because of the angle of the face, the shadows, not to mention that the one's a painting and the face of my brother is a photo. So kind of had to mess around in Photoshop to get those two on the same level, the same lighting and all that good stuff. But you can see the final outcome of my face swap was pretty well done, if I do say so myself. It's a great, great Christmas present. He loved it. A little hang in his office, I'm sure. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. So hopefully you learned how to face swap in Adobe Photoshop. Of course, this has more practical uses besides just gag gifts for your friends and family. Photos that need retouching, that need face swaps. If you've taken multiple photos of family portraits and maybe you have the perfect photo, but maybe a kid sneezed. He was the only one that sneezed in the photo, but you have another good photo of his face where he's smiling. You just face swap those because I don't know get the best product for your customer but yeah that's gonna do it for this video guys please like and subscribe if this helped you out also check out my website if you have any inquiries or comment down below if you guys have any questions I'll try to help you out but yeah I'll see you in the next one hopefully you guys had happy holidays and here's to 2021 I can